rewind to the days done. What's up, guys? This is Marcus, a.k.a. Musical Mind Frame with A1 Music Productions, bringing you an FL Studio 12 tutorial. Today, I'm going to show you how to use FPC and take, um, for example, I'm going to be doing it on the high-quality metal kit, but their kits are usually dry, and I'm going to show you how to route it to the mixer as if it was, as if you're routing it like it, you're doing real recordings, and then how to make a uh, overhead or a room, or pretty much a reverb send to make the drums sound more natural, like they were recorded rather than sampled. So let's get into it. All right, first thing, oh, I've already opened up FPC, and I selected the preset for high quality metal kit. Hold on, select it again. And I'm going to go ahead and start routing these to the mixer. And how you can do this in FPC is you just start with my kick. And let's have. Where did I change it to? Oh, actually, I think I've already started with some of this. Nope, because I just redid it. Okay, sorry. Getting a little wrong. Kick one. I'm going to send that to channel two. This see is the output. And that's the channel on the mixer that you want to send it to. So I'm going to send this to channel 2 or insert 2 whatever you want to call it. Track 2. And we got another kick over here so I'll send that to 3. Okay and you see how when I hit the kick it's actually going to 3 and not 2 even though I have 2 selected. That's because I have FPC being sent to the first mixer track here. So all of the drum kit is actually being sent here now. And you can just do that and use FPC and send just all of the drums to one mixer track and almost have it like a drum bus. But I, I like to have a little bit more control than that. So let's take this down to nothing and everything should be right now. Yeah on two. Okay, so kick, kick, and this is our snares next. The uh, snare side, so we'll put these on four. And I'm thinking about it like all this right here is snare stuff. So you're pretty much going to have that recorded with one mic. And sometimes I will send everything to its own unique mixer track, but we're trying to get these to sound like they were recorded natural. I'm going to do it like each track is a mic that recorded it. So we'll send all the snares to four. And then we'll send all our hi-hats to five. send all of our toms you know what let's send since usually these three top toms would have a mic we'll send those to what is it we're on six now send these three to six and then we'll act like the floor tom had a mic dedicated for it So we'll put it on the seven. And here's our another hi hat. Okay, and I think I'm just going to send all of my symbols. to one insert, one stereo, as if they were recorded with overhead mics. Now 
out real quick. I'm just going to label that stuff on the mixer. Okay, now I like to go ahead and send all of our drums to a drum bus. And we'll make this first insert a drum bus. We'll send all of it route to this track only. And you right click on the little knob. And we'll call this, um, you can drum bus, all drums, whatever works for you. Also going to create a reverb send. We'll just put that here. And you know what? I'll use Fruity Reverb. And let's just go with their drum preset drum ring. And we're gonna want to turn the dry all the way down since it's our send. Because we we'll already have the sound of the dry drums going into the master. So, so now you can, like sometimes I won't even send a kick to a reverb, but um, now you can send whatever piece you want and then and however much you want it to be influenced by the reverb to that now or you could just use the drum bus and send that to it let's uh let's pick a random drum riff since we got the metal kit let's just pick a metal riff just start sending some individual things.
I also haven't panned any of the drum elements. So I think they're somewhat default. Panned. Yeah, to how the preset was. But uh, there's a little bit you can get more in depth, and I'll probably do that at some point. But that is how to route your FPC individual drums to the mixer and then set up things in a way where you can kind of get a more natural sound with them. Hope that was helpful. As always, subscribe to the channel to stay updated when we post new videos and have a nice day. Peace. Hey,